Good morning, Libby fans. You're back here in Libbyville, and we're here with some tips today on Facebook. This particular tip, I want you to think about being in the real estate field and to think about fair housing. So you have a tool that's called an audience insight. It allows you through Facebook to take a look at your audience and it gives you some information about your audience. Remember, if you're renting units, that is not legal to specifically target a specific sex, a specific income category. You have to be really careful because I know here in the Chicago area, income cannot generate or cannot factor into it. So you have to be income neutral that would allow for housing, etc. So I want you to be careful with how you use any of those tools. I would say that what you should be doing is learning from those tools. Where is your audience coming from? Who is looking at your site? Make sure you're writing very engaging posts when you have a vote vacancy. Remember what we've talked about, experience. People are looking for experience. Don't write three bedrooms, two baths, like, uh, so boring. So make sure you're engaging the people and looking at your analytics so you know how to offer an experience about your vacancy. If you're looking for partners, there you might get into a different type of, um, I'll call it analytics, if you're putting posts out there to look for people to partner with you. So remember, social media is your friend, helps you get the word out, it's a great tool, but you have to be careful with the analytics as it applies to fair housing. So if you'd like to email us some specific questions, it's info at mylandlordhelper.com. That's info at mylandlordhelper.com. Um, like, subscribe. We can always use your likes and subscribes. And we'd be glad to help you with anything by phone, 847-431-3300. Thank you.